All right, this right here is a giant sequoia tree. I grew it from seed. Seed started in October 2015, 2015. and um, it's late November 2017 now. Got the seeds actually from Yosemite. Just came in this little container here. So I can't believe this is actually just two years old. Um, I started it in the house and just used grow lights through the winter time in um, winter of 2015 going into 2016 and um, put it outside you know in springtime in a pot for a couple weeks and then uh, you know once it looked like it was pretty healthy and ready to go in the ground I went ahead and planted it but um, by the way I've got this over top because the deer tend to chew on the trees around here I don't know if they're going to uh, which is uh, near the Cincinnati Ohio area. I don't know if the uh, deer would actually eat this or not, but they do eat other evergreens. They've chewed the uh, Canadian hemlock I have all the way to, you know, up as far as they could go with it. But um, if you look at the uh, foliage on this, it really doesn't have leaves. It just has sort of a, you know, just get it to focus here. They're not really leaves. It's just kind of a almost like an arborvita, um, just more or less a stem. So it should be pretty drought tolerant. And uh, let's see, it's probably, I'd say over three feet tall, almost four feet tall now. And this is only two years old from seed. So um, it's made it through the couple winters so far. So we'll see what happens with the next, uh, actually, I guess last winter was the uh, first winter because uh, the first year it uh, was just in the ground. Uh, well, in a pot in the house, but um, anyway, if you didn't think a giant sequoia tree would grow in a cold climate like this, I mean, it does get pretty cold in Yosemite where these grow normally, but uh, it does seem to do well here so far, and I think there's some growing up in the Columbus, Ohio area, which is a, you know even further north in a different uh, USDA climate zone, so... Eventually, I guess this will get that uh, classic, classic uh, thick bark that the uh, giant sequoias have. But uh, this is what it is so far. So if you were thinking about growing a giant sequoia in an area where it's colder and much more humid than uh, Yosemite, well, there you go, it works. <laughs>